What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. Today, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Documents and Contracts feature inside of High Level, specifically how to take a PDF document that you have that you would normally send to a client or prospect, have them fill it out, sign it, date it, initial it, etc. How to take that, put it into High Level, and send that out, and make it really easy for your clients and prospects to fill out whatever document it is that you need them to complete. Uh, it's very similar to DocuSign, so if you're using DocuSign, this could be a, uh, potentially a really good replacement for it. And, um, I also did a video on uh, some specific, uh, like really cool automations you can use with this as well, so I'll link that down below. Make sure you check that out. But this is sp uh, specifically just going to be about using the, uh, just uploading a PDF template and then bringing the, the necessary fields onto that template so that it's actually fillable uh, and, and you can send it to your prospects and clients. All right, so we're in the payments tab right here. We're going to go to documents and contracts, and we could just do this right from the, uh, the the homepage on this feature. So we're going to click on new and upload a PDF. Okay, and I have a personal loan agreement that I can use here. Uh, yeah, here we go. Just going to use that for now. All right, so you would just you would download your document as a PDF. You're going to upload it into high level here. Okay, it's going to open up the builder, and that's where we're going to be able to drag all, all, whatever fields we need onto this document. Okay, and we'll get to the, the set signing order here in a minute, but uh, we're going to click on add an element, and wherever like they would normally write something out or type something, uh, I'm usually just going to do a text field. Okay, these are these are the like. These right here are the primary ones, uh, like the fillable fields is usually what you're going to want to use. But you can also add additional text, images, videos, like some really cool stuff. Again, I talk about that more in the, the other training I did on this feature uh, down below. So, uh, But we can resize this. So uh, let's, uh, let's drag this here. Okay. So, and then uh, we'll add another one here. Uh, I mean, it's really all we're doing. Uh, text fields, dates. Uh, initials, signatures, things like that. Okay. And when you add these fields, um, you can control who, like who is responsible for filling that out. So maybe, maybe there's a part of your document that you want to fill out for your client or prospect, then you can actually make yourself the one who uh, fills that out and it'll make it required when you go to complete the document. So you can complete that and then your client or prospect will fill out the rest. All right. So, uh, when you click on recipients, I don't, I don't, I haven't used set signing order. I could see where that's uh, necessary for maybe some, uh, you know, different types of businesses, but I haven't really messed with this very much. But um, you would click right here and then type in the name of your client, select them, and they'll be put on this uh, signing order. All right. So you do have to have your client in as a process, like a contact inside of high level in order to select them here. So make sure you do that. You just go to contacts. Uh, click the plus sign, add contact with their name, email, phone number, etc., cetera, uh, whatever information you have. And then uh, that's, that's when you'll be able to select who needs to fill this particular field out. All right. So, and uh, from there, I mean, you're just going to, you're just going to go down and continue adding the different fields here that you need. Okay. Uh, we'll get to like the, the signature part. All right. So uh, here's the, uh, here's the signature. So uh, we, we can drag a signature element right here. Let's resize it. Okay, so it's not blocking anything. All right, and maybe that's going to be my signature. And then we add another signature field here. Okay, and then that would be my client signature. Okay, and then we click plus sign. We add date. Okay, we add date to these guys. And then maybe on the, maybe we have another field here that, uh, that initials it. Or, or uh, maybe you want, uh, I, I know DocuSign um, does this quite a bit as well, where it will have you, actually it's not specific to DocuSign, I've just seen a lot of documents do this, where it will have the clients or prospect initial each page, <clears throat> basically stating that they've, they've gone through the entire contract. So you could put it in initials, uh, a field right here uh, at the bottom of each page. So we can do that again over here. Okay. So basically the, the, the client is in pro or prospect is just saying that they've gone through the, the entire agreement here. So you can put that on every single page if you want, totally up to you. 
And then, you know, again, right here, uh, if we if we're print if we have a print name box right there, okay, that would just be another text field. All right. And then uh, from there, you can click uh, save. You can rename it right here and then send it. Uh, just got to make sure, you know, make sure you have your, your uh, prospect selected here as a recipient. Okay, uh, so we'll save that. And let's say that this is a, a, a like you send, you tend to send the same document over and over. You can, you can just save this as a template. Whenever we get back to it. All right, so if we go right here, so we'll go to templates now, new template. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Um, hang on one second, guys, because I, I I'm pretty sure we can use the document that we um, that we just created. It might be because it's uh, uh, it's not like it's still in draft right now. So let me check that really quick. Okay, yeah, it's right here. So if you just go back to all documents and contracts, personal loan agreement. Here's the one that we were just working on, you just click on convert to template and you're good to go. And then after everything is uh, complete, like the entire document is completed, it's signed by you, your prospect, clients, whoever, um, you'll be able to, you and them, your, your clients or prospects will be able to download the document as well as a PDF. You can mark it as completed. Uh, again, go through the automation training that I did down below uh, so you can automatically do this kind of stuff. Um, other than that, pretty simple feature, right? I mean, nothing, nothing crazy. You know, you're just bringing in a document that you already have put together that you normally have maybe people fill out or maybe you already have it in DocuSign and you're just bringing it into high level. You move the, the fields onto the documents where you need them to be, save it as a template and whenever you need to use it, you can just send it out. And uh, if we click new here, uh, new document, actually, no, I'm sorry. We're going to go, uh, if we wanted to use the template, um, this is when we would go, that's when we go to templates right here and just click new. No, I'm sorry, not, not new. Uh, we could use the template right here. My apologies. And then you just name it, uh, maybe your client's name, whatever, and maybe the date as well. And then you send it off to your clients. All right. So that's it for this training, guys. I want to keep this uh, pretty short, just right to the point. Uh, pretty simple feature. Uh, inside a high level, but really, really powerful. It makes things uh, pretty easy when it comes to sending out documents, getting signatures, initials, dates, etc., from your clients' prospects. So, hope that was helpful, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, drop some comments down below. Uh, please go through my high level affiliate link. Uh, if you don't have it, that really does help support the channel. But either way, hope you guys are crushing it, and I will talk to you in the next one. To your success, Matty Ice is out.